What it is, what it do, Z double C crew, it's your boy Zaddy Chan Chan, and I'm back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of bang it is? It's a muck bang. And today I have Nicole, of course. And today we are doing Jack, Jack in, in the, the Box. box. So ZCC family, me and Nicole are really famished, really hungry, really starving. So we're gonna get a thumbnail and dive right in, uh, a prayer and dive right in. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Let's get a thumbnail. All right, hold up the fries. Oh, my fingers all in it. All right. Let's dive in. Uh -huh. um, so you guys. I'm so famished. We got a sriracha burger. Mm -hmm. We got a spicy chicken sandwich. We have, oops, chicken nuggets. We have tacos. We have egg rolls. We have stuffed jalapenos. We got the works. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, I never had Jack in the Box. Actually, no, I lied. I did once. It was like a a box. What was it? Like a box I'm steel doing. kind of thing. That's a sriracha burger. Mm, this looks pretty good. ZCC family, let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. You like that? Yes, I do. I like this bread. Yeah, it's very soft. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. <laughs> but Nicole had it before. She tried their nacho burger. That's what it was. And I thought that was pretty good. Mm. Oh. Um, These chicken nuggets are crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta try the chicken nugget. I would say it's not my favorite place, but, um. See now, that sweet and sour sauce tastes like Chinese egg rolls and sour sauce. Oh, well that's good because we got egg rolls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How, How do you it? like this place? Do you like it? It's good. It's not like your five star, you know, not right. a big nail. Can you open this for me? Fast food, but. There you go. Thank you. No problem. It's still really good. Here's a jalapeno popper, and that this looks very crunchy. Mm -hmm. What's up? Chicken nugget? Really good. They are really good. Mm -hmm. They're very crispy and fresh. They don't taste like they've been sitting there all day. Mm -hmm. I got soda on deck, y'all. I got my strawberry Sprite that I have been craving. Mm. Let me taste that sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. We're going for the egg rolls now, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. How do you feel about people double dipping? Um. <laughs> As I double dip. No, I don't care if it's like me and you. Mm -hmm. But um, some of my friends, I absolutely cannot <laughs> do it with. Just because the way that they eat and some things that they do, I'm like, get away from me, don't touch my food, like don't be around me at all whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You and me, I don't mind. My mom, I wouldn't mind with. Um, just certain people, I can't, yeah. I can't do it with. Why well, you got some girlfriends that eat crazy? Um, not crazy, just like, hmm. 
crazy. Some things that they do really disgust me. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's easy to see family. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Are you okay with it? I really don't mind double dipping, you know. As long as you're so lying, not so I was not all over that chicken, right. diet, you know. Mm. Or just a simple thing: dip one in, turn it around, dip the other in. Mm -hmm. You know. I feel like I do that with like new people. If I like, I would do that with your family if we went out to eat. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Nicole has a spicy chicken sound for you to try. Yes, we added extra mayonnaise to it. I'm dipping my jalapeno popper in some hot sauce. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm. You want to cut this out? Yeah. I'm really liking red hot, um, hot sauce? Frank's hot sauce a lot lately, yeah. Your button slid off. Mmm. -hmm. Z, Z, Z. I love a spicy chicken sandwich. Me too. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Fresh. Just as fresh as the chicken nuggets. Mm hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, just check. I think that had it been fried, I mean, well, I think it's fried, you know, it's really fresh. And we did wait a little bit for it too, so. And drive home was like 20 minutes and it still has a very crispy taste. Mm -hmm. So I'm impressed. We're actually demolishing this food. <laughs> I know, I'm like, there's nothing left. We barely started having a conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. Mm. I'm so hungry. Name a pet peeve. Okay, so double dipping. But name a pet peeve that you can't stand that people do when eating. Mmm. Let's spit that on my cheek. Mm -hmm. Um. When they, they're like. <clears throat> gross about it and they're like uh, uh, and then they like pick it up and bring it in and they're mm. like, uh, like i don't know i'm not into licking fingers because like even when i eat hot cheetos i don't even lick my fingers after because i just think of how much other stuff i touch and yes you wash your hands but like do you really get your hands that clean you know mm -hmm. i don't know i'm just big on like mm, mm, it's mm. funny to say because we do it ourselves and we do mukbangs and stuff. <sighs> Messy eaters. Y'all <laughs> having a ball in the conversation. Mm hmm. Man, I just don't like seeing the stuff that you chewed up in your mouth. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't want to see that. Or don't talk about anything that. I was just gonna say that. Mm -hmm. Do not bring up something disgusting when mm -hmm. I'm eating because I will throw it all away. I can't talk about something nasty when I'm eating. Mm. I get so turned off and disgusted by it. You know one thing I wish we would've got? Mm -hmm. I kinda wish we got a shaker or something. The cheesecake. Mm. Jack and Black had a cheesecake. Nicole was craving cheesecake the other day. Mm -hmm. So much that she walked, well, it's not like it's far. <laughs> but she walked to Cheesecake Factory and got a cheesecake. You guys, <clears throat> I got a red velvet. Where's the hot sauce at? Cheesecake. Oh. Um, this. No, the taco sauce. Oh. A red velvet, um, it's under those napkins. You have some too. Um, red velvet cheesecake. And then I added strawberries on top. And there was little shavings of white chocolate on that side. It was so good. 
It was amazing. I only tried the red velvet and the birthday cake one from Cheesecake Factory. Which no. one did you get the first time you got it? Strawberry. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a Cheesecake Factory fan for the cheesecakes because I feel like it's more too cheesy and not more dessert, you know? I, I really But I like think it. that's, people would say that's the real authentic cheesecakes. But to me, I love a uh, more dessert. Not, I don't want to taste that much cheese, you know? Mm -hmm. Another key thing when it comes to cheesecake is the crust. Mm. Crust got to be on point. Oh, yeah. Mm. So how you feel about tacos? Mm. They're good. Um, the looks of them kind of remind me. Mm. I've never had it. But the burger, the new Burger King tacos, mm -hmm. um, I think it looks the same as the, what they're advertising. Yeah, I think that's where, where we got the you know whole idea from. Mm -hmm. Wow, we are actually going to finish all of our food. <laughs> the fries look hectic. <laughs> no. I wanted these ones. Delvin wanted the plain ones. Okay. The refrigerator is absolutely packed with to-go food. We need to clean that out. It is like, it's just, there's so much stuff in there. I'm getting back my regiment of if I get hungry at night, apple and orange. Yeah, we just actually had a plate of um, apple and oranges. They were really good. What, a glass cold cup of water? Yeah. While watching National Treasure. That was a good movie. Um, we started in the middle, but the ending was I've never seen National Treasure, y'all. Mm -mm. And then, the second one began to um, play, but then I fell asleep. Yeah. We got tired. Lately, I've been restless, y'all. Like, I'll be in the bed and I can't stop moving and, I don't know. I'm having a hard time going to sleep, so y'all give me some ideas. That have remedies to help people go to sleep. I know people will say like, sleeping medicine. But what's a good one? What's a good sleeping medicine? NyQuil honestly works. It knocks you out, but... <clears throat> you don't want to keep taking that. No, and you can't keep on taking something that's going to make you fall asleep because then you're going to get used to it. Yeah. And then it's not going to work anymore. And another thing is this. It's meant for sickness, so... And it's bad for your body. Yeah. Yeah, well, NyQuil or, like, sleeping pills or something like that. Yeah. Let's check that out. You want those? Check it out. You don't want them to check them out. Mm. Did you have a jalapeno pepper? Yeah. I dip mine in, in hot sauce. Mm. I don't put that in hot sauce. Is that hot sauce? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Let me see. Yeah, we ate all food today. Oh, teeth. this is shocking because I don't ever use my two teeth. Never. You just said that in another video. Oh. No, uh, no hand challenge. I mean, no utensils. Mm, I did because I was opening honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't use my teeth. My mom always said not to. Now you're gonna spit using them? No. Mhm. Mm hmm. You use your teeth a lot. I do. I ain't gonna lie. Oh snap! Nice job. <laughs> I'm very satisfied. You satisfied? Mm hmm. I am satisfied. Mm -hmm. Smacking? It used to be a really big pet peeve, but. It never really annoyed me. Now I got used to it. Until I hear someone like just forcing it, though. Mm hmm. Mm. When someone's chewing gum and they're smacking. You can't say that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I really can't. 
Damn. I remember gum was like the big thing in high school. Mm. How to eat gum now. If you mm. had gum, that was, that was gold. <laughs> mm hmm Or having snacks in high school. Mm-hmm. If you if you open a snack up in class, let me everybody some. everybody want to bite. Let me, let me get some. some. Open a bag of hot Cheetos, and you know what? Let me get some. Mm -hmm. But if someone else has it, it tastes so good. I feel like, you know. Mhm. Mm when someone else has some flaming hot Cheetos, I feel like those are the best flaming hot Cheetos ever. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in class and you're hungry, and they open up a bag of flaming hot, and you get some, they be tasting so good. Yeah, gum was a huge thing. <clears throat> I don't really um. Or I used to sell a whole bunch. Of I have it. Yeah, I, I I knew people who did that too. I used to go to Sam's Club, buy buy a whole bunch of boxes, make little goodie bags. My slogan I used to go around school was uh, candy for a dollar, make you it taste like dollar. <laughs> you open your book bag, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, what do you want?" But you can't get caught by teachers though. Mm -mm. They're not going for that. Only way they let you sell something if it's a fundraiser. Mm hmm For something for the school. Like those chocolates. Mm hmm in, in high school they always had these no. chocolate bars that they were always selling. They were really good. I got so bad to a point that they legit called my mom and dad down to the school. Really? And talk, the principal talked to them. They're like, I had to get I promise you they say, Your son's an entrepreneur. But we cannot have this here in our school. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> that sounds exactly like you. I'm not shocked. <laughs> not shocked one bit. Okay, so the first time, the only time, I only got suspended. You want to know what it was for? What? Not for fighting. What was it? Nothing like that. And my mom was like, it was for getting my book, or forgetting to bring my book to class. And they suspend you for that? Mm -hmm. No, that's petty at all. I don't think that's worth a suspension. I think I was late. I think they told us, like, if you don't if you don't bring your book, like, something's going to happen. Blah, blah. I think I was late going to my locker or something. I don't know. And I forgot my book, too. But that's not worth the suspension. Like, having a kid miss a school day for that. Mm. Audubon, um, fun fact, go ahead. Audubon Middle School. Now it's a high school. They changed yeah. it into a high school. A fun fact about me is this is going to be hectic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but ever since the seventh grade, I've been suspended every year of school since seventh grade. Eighth grade, ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, and twelfth grade. I got suspended every single year. I can see that. But for fighting? No. Mm -mm. Dang, I'll have plenty of problems. Everybody, there's nobody <laughs> likes me if I'm fighting every single time. I got suspended for fighting a few times, but. Dumb choices. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to get rid of me. The teachers low key loved me. I feel like they don't. Everybody has that one teacher that if it wasn't for them, you don't think you would have made it. You know? What, do you have any teachers there? I think if I had a teacher like that. Mr. Mm -hmm. Otto. Man, shout out to you, Mr. Otto. Mm. I don't know if you see me, or, but he was a, a football coach, and that man had faith in me. Like, and he would get me out of so much trouble, cause I was like one of those class clowns, want to have fun, joke around kind of kids, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, but Mr. Otto, he had my back for a lot of stuff. You know, um. you didn't have a teacher you were close to. I wasn't really, really close to her, but she was really young, and she was our cooking class teacher. I mean, she was really young, and she only wore stilettos. All oh, she's thirsty. All day, every day. <laughs> guys and the guys only took the class because <laughs> she was the beautiful teacher that everybody wanted to... I forgot what her name is. Did your teachers have, like, any scams at your school? I I think they got, we had a teacher that got fired for, for messing around with a student. Really? 
Mm -hmm. It wasn't 100%. They didn't like have sex or anything. But not lying. I ain't gonna say their names. But the teacher legit took off. And I was in class when this happened. She took off her shirt and changed her shirt in the classroom with students in it. Not even kidding. I swear, I swear on everything. Took off her shirt where she just had a bra on. And changed her shirt. And the kid she was messing around with was in there? Well, one of the kids told. Oh. But she did like little flirty things like... She would sit on his lap, like, but that was, that was the kid that told, the one that, I'm like, this man, this is a dream come true, what are you <laughs> doing? You can get an A and get some. <laughs> doing too much. <laughs> but, um, no teachers had no scandals. I had a teacher try to hit me in first grade. Oh yeah, I cut that out ASAP. Hit you? No, what's it first, not first grade, third grade. What's the third grade or higher? Somewhere in the fifth, somewhere five, fourth, third. I don't know about hit me. I had a teacher. It was something petty though, like I, cause I was, I had my my leg up in a seat like this. I got short saw, y'all. I had my <laughs> leg up in a seat like this, and then she came up to me. She's like, "Put it down." I'm like. <laughs> How were you back then? The same? I'm like, you crazy. You crazy. I, I, I just laughed and I put my leg back up and she kicked me out. And then the principal uh, put me, told the principal what happened and then yeah, she got in trouble for that. Well, I've never had any um, staff members do anything, but funny story. This kid I went to school with, later becoming his really good friend, um, his brother stabbed me with a pencil in my hand on the bus and then his brother It was the older brother and younger brother. The younger brother stabbed me with a pencil The older brother was dared to grab my boob on the bus for a hot Cheeto and it happened and I got a I got a, a hot Cheeto hand mark on my boob and I was, I was wearing a green polo and That's I had a hot Cheeto mark on my boob, and then a, a pencil. Well, not it didn't happen in the same day, but I got my hand stabbed with a pencil. What was grade great. was this? Uh, like fourth grade, third, fourth grade, <laughs> and it was Devin. I know. I, yeah, I know. You act like I didn't know him. <laughs> it's just crazy because I knew him when he was super young, and he was just as bad. The same. Well, trust me, I believe it. <clears throat> First time I met him was at Dan Jansen. And he just wanted to fight everybody. He was a bad kid. <laughs> he just had a lot of things going on. <laughs> but ZCC, but that is my homie though. ZCC family. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We definitely maxed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know the last time we uh, ate everything. Two burgers, chicken nuggets, jalapeno poppers, egg rolls, two tacos, and two fries. And two drinks. And two drinks. We were definitely hungry today, ZCC family. Uh, go in the comment section down below. Let us know what kind of subjects you guys would like us to talk about, some things yeah. you guys want us to touch on. Uh, definitely are down to hear those, and we are willing to open up about anything, even some of the deepest, darkest secrets you guys want to know about us. <laughs> All right, don't get too deep. He's playing. <laughs> but ZCC family, Nicole, where can I find you at? Nicole, of course, on my YouTube channel. You can find me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. All is at a chunk chunk. That is Z A D D Y C H U N K C H U N K. C -H -U -N -K. C -H -U -N -K. But Z C C family, as, as we, we all know, know the grind never stops, stops. until the Z C C gang is on top. top. Let's get it. Uh, it's showtime. The whole place hopping. Stage rocking. This for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever, like I'm day watching.